This is your last warning. One more slip and I tell the police what you did to my wife. Jonathan, calm down. Talk reasonably. My talk doesn't seem to reach you. Maybe the police will have better luck. You'll only hurt us both. No, no, not us both. You're the one who'll go down. Jonathan, you can't. I could go to prison. Prison might do you good. This is not amusing. It's not meant to be. You damn well better start taking me seriously. You wouldn't do it. Now tell me, what was going on in your head? Did you let your mother call Erica on the cutting edge? It wasn't my fault. My mother has her own agenda with Tad. What does she know about us? It's nothing. She slandered me on the air. Jonathan, she was trying to rattle Erica. It wasn't even about you. Well, when someone insinuates that I sleep with my patients, I take that very just seriously. talk to my mother. Just ask her. She'll say what you wanted to say. Jonathan, please. We had an agreement. You said you'd protect me. You haven't lived up to your end of the deal, Liza. If you go to the police, the investigation won't end with me. Yes, but I'm not the one they'll put away. Why would you want to do this? Why would you want to dredge this up now? Huh? Because you kick me off. You know, they're not even going to have a case with all the negative publicity, Jonathan. Yes, it's an unpleasant thought, isn't it? Let it lie. We're the only two that know. Yes, the only two surviving members of our little drama. Okay. I can't control you. No, no, you don't do. dismiss me, Liza. You want to file a report, then you go ahead. I doubt your word will be enough. What makes you think I don't have evidence? Have you forgotten that I cleaned up after you? You weren't even there the night it happened. I loved you. I trusted you. I thought that what we had was special. I thought it would last forever. Stop it, Liza. Stop it. Lust does not last forever. In fact, death does, on the other hand. Please, don't run us now. No, no, no. I want this off my shoulders. I want my wife to finally rest in peace. The number for Pine Valley Police Department, please. What you think? Two lives ruined over a tragic accident? Oh, you want that? That's your story then, huh? You would be in the middle of this fallout. You would be on the cover of every tabloid. You would be implicated that you kept silent all this time. I'll take care of my own press, but thank you very much for caring. Oh, oh I see. You're just the master of the spin, aren't you? You think she'll buy it? Erica? Does she even know about your wife? I didn't think so. So, that's your next move, blackmail. You wouldn't think Erica would be interested? Now, Erica means nothing to me. You've been chasing her for months. She's exactly what you want. Beautiful, successful, with a delectable bank balance. She's a married woman. Well, now the double standard. You made love to me many an afternoon before you went home to charm the cold, hard cash out of your wife. Why do I need Erica's money when I have an old friend who is a well-paid station manager with a nasty skeleton in her closet? Well, if you weren't after Erica, why did you force me to air gossip on Dimitri and Gloria? I had an old score to settle with Ms. Marsh. You lavished attention on Erica at the media awards. I was her physician. I was attending to her in that capacity. Oh, no sale, Johnny. I know you too well. Oh, come on, Liza. Rumor has it that Erica and Demetria are reconciling. Maybe Wallingford's rather well off as well as Juanita Ramsey. Now, wait a minute. You can't laugh this off any more than you can threaten me. I can play just as dirty as you. But you can't win because I hold the ace. Because I can tell the world that you have committed cold-blooded murder. It wasn't murder. I didn't mean for it to happen. That's hardly an adequate defense. Fact, you and I were having an affair. Fact, my wife ends up dead and you're the last person to see her alive. That doesn't mean that I killed her. Oh, Liza, I have been protecting you and I am out of patience. What did you do with it? You did get rid of the body, didn't you? I mean, you did something with it. That's obstruction of justice. You're just as guilty as I am. Am I? Or did I get rid of her cleverly so that no one could ever connect me with her death? But you, on the other hand, won't be so fortunate. You'll find out when the police find her. Wait. Just wait. Here. Take this. Well, very good. We do have an understanding. That's the end of it. No, no. You don't dictate the rules. This is merely a down payment for my keeping silent. You got what you came for. Now leave me for a moment. Does anyone know?
knock around here? We're finished with our business. Thank you. Nice to see you both. Excuse me. What's he doing here? Didn't you have the afternoon off? I did. Pam, maybe we should go wait in your office. Huh? Wait for what? Adam called a meeting. I wasn't notified. It was last minute. He told us to meet him here. Since when is Dixie a part of our team? I'm just an interested bystander. So what's it all about? I thought you knew. I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, that's Adam. Has a dramatic streak, doesn't he? Well, I'll take that as a compliment. What's going on? The final ratings are in. Clark is faxing them over as we speak. Wait a minute. You're going to decide who gets the station manager's job today? The hour of reckoning is at hand. It's me. Yeah, where have you been? Out. Why? What's wrong? Well, she's raising a fit. That's what's wrong. I called to get you over here. When? Just a little while ago. I is she all right? Yeah, she's settled down now. Just for the moment. moment. What? You picked up, then there's nothing? Now, what, were you with someone? I wasn't here at all. Well, somebody answered. That's impossible. Oh, maybe I didn't dial right? Well, then be more careful when you do dial. I assumed it was you. What did you say? I said your name, and then we have a problem. You, you said my name? I said your first name. They're not going to tie that together. You had better be right, because if anyone finds out, it's all over. You want a calculator? Patience. Why not wait for the national numbers, Adam? Because that would be delaying the inevitable. I'm quite proud of both of you. You both did a credible job. It was a dead heat. For God's sake, come on, Adam. Who's, who's, who's on top? Well, it was neck and neck. Until Erica's interview. That made all the difference. Congratulations, Tad. You're the new station manager. <laughs> That's great. I'm so proud of you. It's a shame one of you had to lose. I'm not sure one of us did yet. Liza, I'm sorry it had to come to this. You wanted my job. You put Adam up to it. Well, it's the job I deserve in the first place. I've been in this business long enough to know how this game is played. The numbers don't lie. Tad won on his own merit. Just brace yourself for a daily dose of public service sermons, Adam. I think people are pretty bored with sensationalism. Not everybody has a perfect life, Dixie. Infidelity, adultery, broken homes, they're the norm. It's sad, but it's true. I think it's all how you present it. Lives fall apart. Hearts are broken. I say you deal with it. You don't turn away. There's a lot of positive stories out there. Oh, you should start calling those Boy Scouts then, the old ladies. I'm hopeful we can improve on these numbers. I would wish you luck, but I don't think you'll need it. With your resume, they should be lining up to hire you. Am I going somewhere? I naturally assumed you'd want to leave. But your promotion clears the producer spot on the cutting edge. You're overqualified. Since one is being too good, a liability. You wanted a motion? You wanted my job, you got it. Turnabout is fair play. My contract states that I can stay at the station in any capacity at my current salary level or be paid until the end of the cycle. You're not serious. Pay me or play me. If I can compromise and take a lesser job, the ball's in your court, boss. Am I in or am I fired? The phone was right where I left it. <laughs> then I must have dialed the wrong number. You better be right. No, no, listen, we're just being paranoid. All right, all right how is she now? She settled out. I mean, she wore herself out. But I'll tell you something, that last injection we gave her, it wore off way too soon. 
I say we increase the dosage. That's for me to decide. Listen, you don't have to sit here and put up with her all day. I'll be right there. It's out of the question. I believe that's up to me. And I think I'd like to talk to Liza alone. Oh, I have nothing to hide. Unless there's something you don't want to say in front of your wife. Liza, this would be a really, really bad career move. So would unemployment. Come on, there's got to be a dozen stations out there that need, that are just dying for somebody with your credentials. I really like Pine Valley. I didn't realize how much I was going to miss the sights and the people. You want an answer now, this minute? Yes, I do. It's an easy question, yes or no. I am qualified. Do I get the job, or am I fired? You're fired. 